city that has been UNESCO listed in UNESCO heritage sites. So uh, in that sense, it has been a unique experience. Plus the idea of how the, uh, Asmara is going to take step forward ahead by developing itself. So it's just not about conserving all these, but uh, progression that's to be followed by it so we had like a study of that as well and have some ideas for it. is to, um, to engage with the local Eritrean community and particularly the Asmara Heritage Project and to help them do their work which is to document, research and uh, safeguard the, the architectural and urban heritage of Asmara. Uh, with this time we have 25 students from UCL um, at the Bartlett School of Architecture which is the world's number one architecture school. Um, they'll be here for one week and they're engaging in all kinds of different urban research um, and we hope that they will maybe continue that research and produce some project work when they come back to London uh, in, uh, in a week and over the next nine months or so they'll continue working um, probably in the context of Asmara and two years ago we had a similar group, uh, the same course um, I'm the director of that course which is called the Masters of Architecture and Historic Urban Environments but there was only 12 students then and uh, this time we've got 25 uh, the second group that we had last year was a group of architects, senior architects yes. from Great Britain and uh, they were here to offer their expertise uh, in all sorts of fields so urban design management conservation architecture and also to think about maybe an architecture school in Eritrea uh, we don't have an architecture school here and uh, you have a lot of architecture so you need a school